How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on the continuation on Bastard Heavy Metal Dark Fantasy. Now the previous video that I did on the genre, I did a reaction on the opening. Now the opening is a badass opening and I give my honest perspective and reference and you guys also referenced Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which was right on point. All right. So without further ado, let's check out the next episodes and see what took place. Okay, let me just move on to the next step. Let's just move on. Let me skip the intro for now because we've seen it. But from time to time, I'll let it play because it is just a badass intro. Mm, it looks like the poison is still coursing through his veins. He's not hundred percent yet. Wow, so this guy is that right? Earth, fire, water, wind. I guess this will help Yuko understand dark magic a little bit more. Mm, so the more he tries to defeat this creature that has been summoned in front of him, the more he, he makes the beast or the creature more powerful. Wow, 1000 degree. They would turn this girl to ashes in an instant. He never cared about pulling him. Oh, that's what Halusu is good at. So he uses flame and he's facing... He's facing an opponent who uses flame abilities. The barrier won't protect them for long. He stepped out of his shield. He just turned into scripts.
Yep, another woman has kissed him, Yuko. Your princess, the princess of your kingdom, laid her lips on him. Oh, you see, the whole place has turned into lava. <laughs> and you decide to throw yours away. What a fool. I don't think it's a fool because his shield is still there to protect uh, Sheila. What is he up to now? <laughs> it, it looks like this creature doesn't like the spell he summoned. Swing! Did he punch him on the or did he tackle him? He actually tackled him. He should have tackled him. So not as I guess he's a creative uh, individual, huh? The first time he has lost ever since he was born. Oh, wow. You're not even younger than... Oh, wow. He, he called him a small boy, but Dak Schneider is actually older than him. Yikes. This will never be as good as Exodus. Let's go, God. Give me my woman. So Yuko is indeed his woman. I guess that's the reason why he didn't do anything with uh, the princess. He's gonna be mad. He's going to be upset seeing this. What Gara has done to his woman, they made. I don't think he looks like that poison is doing much on him. Or maybe Gara knows him very well because these two have formed forces before, so they know each other. <laughs> He's mad. I haven't even seen her yet. <laughs> that is so awkward. You, you are not anything like the man I remember. Yeah. 
He's mad that he didn't get to see her naked first. That's all the time I will need to show you how good I've gotten in 15 years. These two are about to get it on. I would like to see this fight. How do you make? Hmm. What an aggressive power. He actually pushed them back and knocked them down with just one swing. Sweet! 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 I'm getting that Naruto Shippuden's theme. Yep, she's the one that kissed him. Sui! He threw the sword away! <laughs> I guess he's going to rely on what he's used to. He's not gonna go sword by sword with Gara. He's starting to throw the sword away. Yeah, I took his arm off. That got to hurt. Man, that would have turned them into crisp. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, now they're gonna go all out. They've tested each other long enough. These two get it. These guys better get out of this castle because if these two go all out, this whole building is going to come down. Hmm. Yeah, but if he's pushed, if he's pushed, he might be able to use more than, he might be able to dig deeper and use more spell. Oh, so you're falling for him, huh, Sheila? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. See, Gara knows that he doesn't have any spell yet, but yet he's still standing there, looking at him, waiting for Gara to make the to make another move. Come on, Dak Schneider, he's trying to throw you off your game. Hmm. 
Mm. And licked every part of my body. <laughs> now he's going too far. <laughs> he's going, he's not going to stop now. And then I took it away. <laughs> <laughs> Back to that you should know by now. You've lived you've lived you've lived long enough to know that he's taunting you now. She really was a virgin. Her body was absolutely perfect. He went too far. The allies. Hmm. The princess has no idea what Gara is talking about. He's trying to throw you off your game, man. But it might be his own undoing. Hmm, he's summoning another magic. I thought Gary said he has no magic left. He blocked it with his one with his arm. One arm. I think it's time to get out of this castle, guys. You guys better leave now. Mm hmm. Destroy, destroy Hakai, Hakai. I've heard the, I've heard Hakai before. Dragon Ball Super, the tournament of power. Hakai, that's the power of destruction. He's bringing this castle down. What now? The castle came down. <laughs> it freaks me out. <laughs> So these two actually used to be friends, good friends back in the day. So he put up a burial. <laughs> wow, he had he still had more strength left to protect not just himself. Hmm. He put up a barrier to protect him and his friends as well. Man. So there is good in him. <laughs> there is good in him. Could it be Lucian that is doing that, or...
No, <laughs> well, she's still a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> mm, in this conversation. <laughs> Oh, he protected those knights as well. Wow. What a guy, huh? What a guy. Hmm? You haven't forgotten who I am, have you? Who is that? All of a sudden, Lass is talking. Really? Stay tuned for more episodes. See?